I was going to show you how to diagnose an SRS system with a Tech 2. This one here only goes up to 2013, but uh, you know, you click enter down here. I'll show you what I did. This is a 2014 Malibu, and uh, it diagnosed diagnostics. See, it only goes up to 2013, but this is a 2014. So I'll just hit enter right here and it'll say passenger car, click at, it's a, it's a Chevy and Cadillac and I picked Chevy and then it's got these uh, J, K, M, M I assume stands for Malibu, I mean I'm not no expert at this. So. Shade tree mechanic here in the shade. Okay, so there's M. You click it, and if you want to check your SRS, you click body. Scroll down, you scroll down with this button here. Hit body. Establishing connection. And then it's got all these control modules and instrument clusters. And But for this right here, we'll do the supplemental inflation restraint which is right there which you may not be able to see because I can see it's blurry that's what it says F6 you hit enter and then it says diagnostic trouble codes right there and then it says special function snapshot so on but anyway see where the short is in your SRS system to check to see why the airbag lights on you hit the enter here then you hit display supplemental which I got zero codes on it because I found out where the short was uh, it said it was in the uh, I put this airbag in, and uh, when I put it in, I changed the plugs on it because they were the plugs usually melt. And I popped it back out, and I noticed I didn't have one of the plugs all the way uh, seated correctly. So, with that, uh, let's see. Well, anyway, you can go down here. It says restart, or you can view all focus my camera's not focusing but anyway it says view all DIC anyway it'll have like different faults over here be like see I got nine it says watch here so I'll hit enter and right now it says no diagnostic diagnostic trouble codes but if it did if I did hit that, hit exit and go back here, you can scroll through and it'll say some of them passed and which ones didn't pass. And then you can locate what you, why your airbag light is on on a dash. So, anyway, the reason I'm showing you this is because this is a 2014 and I've used it on a 2016 to find out what the problem was on like a, I had a 2016 Chevy Cruze. And at that time, I didn't have the airbag plug in the roof airbag on the passenger side, and it directly showed me what was the problem. So, you know, those were the two times I've used it. So, and it came in handy. Uh, if you took it to a dealer, had them hook this up, cost you like $100. I bought this thing here for, I think, $400. They're on eBay, so. The only reason I'm showing you this because I forgot how to do it myself, you know. It's been a while and I don't remember how I did it, so any, and I can use this video for a reference. But anyway, if that helps you, uh, that's good. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.